Gifu University succeeded in the development of a new integrated circuit having ultra-low power consumption. Dr. Yasuhiro Takahashi, associate professor at engineering faculty, explains how to reduce the power dissipation of integrated circuit. In particular, he explains about the method to use the AC power supply voltage. Nowadays, integrated circuits are embedded in all kinds of electric and electronics devices. For example, personal computers and mobile phones. Current ICs are operated with DC voltage. In the laptop, DC voltage is converted from AC supply voltage using AC adapter. But the conversion process using an AC adapter or battery can also consume power. To attempt to reduce such as power loss, my laboratory has been researching the design of a new IC called the adiabatic logic circuit. Current IC consists from static CMOS logic. The static CMOS logic drives DC power supply. The operation of this logic is that when the state of input signal changes from 1 to 0, the upper side transistor is switched on. Hence, a sudden current flows through the transistor. And then, output node changes 0 to 1. On the other hand, when the state of input signal changes from 0 to 1, the lower side transistor is on the energy stored in the output node is lost through the transistor. In an adiabatic logic using AC supply voltages, the sudden current flows and the energy losses can be controlled. When input voltage changes 1 to 0, upper side transistor is in on state. In this situation, Supply voltage is a slowly varying sinusoidal voltage. Hence, rush current can be reduced. And then, output signal goes high state. On the other hand, when the input signal changes from 0 to 1, the lower side transistor is on. Hence, the energy stored in the output node is partly lost through the transistor. Hence, power reduction is achieving by recovering the energy in this process. I am thinking about the medical or sports support devices as realistic application possibilities for the adiabatic logic circuit. Such medical devices include the pacemaker. Its battery life is generally 8 to 10 years, but could be even 10 times longer if we use the adiabatic logic circuit. Moreover, each heartbeat generates very weak AC voltage of a few millivolts. If we use this power source for operating the circuit, there would be no need for replacement surgery as long as the person remains alive. I'm also designing the integrated circuit for applying to energy harvesting technology. For ultra low power devices, energy harvesting may be an option. By energy harvesting, the energy from vibration, from people walking, or car crossing bridge, automobile heat, broadcasting waves, light, wind, and so on. It's possible to capture enough energy to power very small devices, such as wearable electronics and wireless sensor network. In present energy harvesting integrated circuit, load devices often operate at different voltages than the battery voltage or the voltage out of energy harvester and therefore a voltage converter is used to generate an appropriate 
and stable supply. The key challenge of voltage converter is achieving high efficiencies at ultra low power levels and in small volume. However, if LSI drives AC supply voltages only with a converter. Hence, it results in high efficiency solution for energy harvesting LSI T. To achieve such a logic circuit, adaptive logic is a very attractive solution for energy harvesting. I think adaptive logic is a very attractive solution for energy harvesting and healthcare applications in the global market today. I'll continue to advance my study with the goal of widely applying the technology by 2020 in the field of energy harvesting and healthcare. I feel GIF University is located in a good environment for joint research projects because tube region where GIF University has many industries including automobile, aerospace, and other manufacturers. I'd like to promote the study of manufacturing that contributes of our society both inside and outside our university.